Hi sweeties! I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and if you're watching this after New Year's I hope you guys had a very happy New Year's and Happy New Year to you guys. I just want to apologize for not having a video out for almost two weeks now. I really do apologize for that. I know that's pretty long. I'm very happy to get back in the swing of things and also get back to filming consistently for you guys. Today's video I'm going to share with you guys all my favorite beauty products of 2014 and these are just my favorites so basically a big favorites video all combined into one year and um, some things I'm sure I mentioned already on my channel and some things maybe I didn't mention yet it was really fun and exciting for me to come up with a list and go through all my stuff because 2014 was a very uh, special year for me when it comes to beauty and makeup because I was more into it than I've ever been into it before mostly makeup. I've always loved beauty. I've always loved makeup, but you know, since I started my channel and a little bit before that, I really got into makeup and beauty a lot more. So I have never had so much makeup and beauty in my life as I have had this past year. So it is a very special year for me and it was a lot of fun to really look at all my products and really pick out those gems that stood out for the year of 2014 for me. First I'm going to talk about hair products and this first thing is actually not a product, it's more of a tool and that is my flat iron. And the one I have is the Nano Titanium by Babyliss Pro. It just has the on and off button here and then it goes up to 50. And I really do love this flat iron. As many of you guys know, my hair is naturally curly. And in July, I decided to finally practice and straighten my hair. Before that, I would only really get my hair straightened at the hair salon. So, but anyways, I did get this for my birthday. I did my research and this is, this got great reviews. So this is the one that I decided to ask for, for my birthday. My mom got it for me. And um, she ordered it off of Amazon. And I just really, really love it. The reviews were right. It's a great flat iron and I'm so happy that I have this flat iron now so whenever I do want to wear my hair straight I just do it and um, I did used to have another flat iron but it was one of those really wider um, ones and it was it still works pretty good but I just wanted a more up-to-date one like this so I really do love it and I'm so happy that I got it and it really does help. The next thing I'm going to talk about is a hair product and it's for when I wear my hair curly and this has actually been a godsend to me because before this product when I would wear my hair curly I just would never be fully happy with it and now when I wear my hair curly I love it a lot lot more and it's been super easy and just a lot more manageable. It's the Garnier Curl Sculpting Cream Gel and it's this one here. And, you know, it says it's good for, you know, bouncy curls, frizz control, and it's the extra strong or extra strength. And basically, before this cream gel, I really wasn't liking how my hair would come curly. I was always having problems or complaints, and I think it's because I was always using mousse. And my hair is just way too curly and frizzy for mousse. I don't know how I did it for all those years, but I did. And my friend Tina Marie here on YouTube, she told me, you know, that I should really use more like a cream gel or a sculpting gel like this. I really do just use the littlest bit in my hair. I just run it through my hair when it's wet. I use my fingers, I scrunch it, I use the tiniest amount, and then I just let it air dry because since I do blow dry my hair when I wear it straight, I don't want to do more blow drying, so I just let it air dry when I wear it curly. And this stuff is awesome. It's not crunch, doesn't leave my hair crunchy. It doesn't, um, you know, it does handle the frizz great, and it actually lasts like for like for quite a few days. I could, you know, rewear my hair down curly um, as long as I don't put it up too much. But anyways, I really love this stuff. I highly recommend it for any curly haired girls out there. If you guys have a lot of frizz and if your hair is out of control like mine, definitely give this a try. Now I'm going to get on to skincare and I just have one product that I'm going to mention and this is something I have talked about many times on my channel in like my empties videos and that's the Clean and Clear Morning Burst 
face wash. And I just love this stuff so much. You guys know this by now. I use it in the morning and sometimes at night too. It's very gentle on my skin, yet it does the job and it's very refreshing. And I just really, really love this stuff. I just keep rebuying it and using it. And it's so reasonable. And as long as I don't touch my face um, with my hands a lot, my skin is pretty good and manageable. So this stuff is great. I don't need anything too expensive or too, you know, high end or anything. Um, I do use like a more exfoliating face wash at night, but this for the morning is just awesome. And I actually use this at night sometimes too, if I don't have a lot of makeup on. But anyways, I highly recommend this. This is definitely my favorite face wash of the year. For nails, I have one product that I want to mention, and that is this Sally Hansen Nail Nutrition, and it's the Green Tea and Bamboo Strengthener. I did do a mini review on this product. I will leave that in the description box, but this stuff has really helped my nails recently. Um, I think in the fall I started to use this and it really got my nails back healthy and strong again because my nails were thinning and cracking and they weren't in the best shape and using this did really help and still does. You could wear it alone or you could wear it like as a base coat before you put nail polish on. And I really, really love this stuff. It's so worth it. It's I think it's like, you know, on the maybe close to like $10, but it's really worth the money. Um, I only used that much of it so far and I thought I used a lot, you know, since I got it. So it really lasts long and I did no notice a significant difference in my nails when I started using this. Now I'm finally on to makeup and I do have more when it comes to makeup so I'm just going to get right into it. First is the Rimmel Stay Matte Face Primer and I am just in love with this primer. I know I talk about this a lot on my channel as well. This is definitely my go-to primer. I use this the most out of the few primers that I do have and this is also my second bottle and I just really love it. I think it moisturizes my face and makes it feel very refreshed and moisturized yet it helps my makeup stay on and last longer and I just really think it's a great primer I'm not sure who else loves it as much as me but I know I love it and it just seems to agree with my face so I highly recommend it and this is definitely a favorite of mine the next product I'm going to talk about is a BB cream and this one was really hard for me to choose because 2014 was like my BB cream year I guess you could say all I used was BB creams like almost the whole entire year but I think I decided on the NYX BB cream now it was a toss-up between this one and the Garnier um, BB cream and the reason why I didn't pick the Garnier one is because the Garnier has it's the lightest color they have is light medium the NYX one doesn't have tons of choices with colors but at least they have a lighter a lighter shade so um, that is why this one kind of won over the Garnier one but I love the Garnier one so so much anyways I use this one the most too this is the second bottle that I went through um, I'm almost done it so I have used it a lot. I used it a lot in my makeup looks. It's in the shade Nude. And it's just this one here. And this is another product I don't hear many people talking about, but I love it. I love all NYX products, basically. And yeah, this is just a great BB cream. I loved it, and it just really agrees with me. The next product I want to talk about is another face product, and it's the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. And I have this in the color Nude as well. And I just really, really love this powder foundation. Since I do wear BB creams a lot, I love putting this on after a BB cream, mostly the NYX BB cream. Since it is a powder foundation, it gives me extra coverage. It also mattifies my face and just makes my face look really smooth and, you know, flawless. And I just love it so much. So this has just been a favorite of mine as well. And as you guys can see, I'm hitting pan on it. The next product is a treatment concealer, and this is definitely something that I use a lot in my makeup tutorials, so I'm sure you guys have seen me use it, and it's the Maybelline Age Rewind um, Dark Circles Eraser, and it's this one here. 
And I know a lot of people use these and I just use it in the Brightener Illuminating shade, um, number 60. It's kind of a toss up between this and the Maybelline Dream Lumi highlighting concealer, but this one, because I just love this one more, I love the applicator and I just seem to use this one more. So yeah, I really, really love it so much. It's just so great for under my eye area and also, you know, to highlight in other areas on my face and I just love it so, so much. So it's definitely a favorite. Sure. To continue on to some more face products, I'm gonna talk about blushes. And this was really hard too because I kind of went blush crazy this past year. Before um, this past year, I really never wore blush. I never thought it looked good on me because my face is already naturally kind of rosy and red sometimes. But as long as I put enough like BB cream or foundation on, I'm good. And so that's when I realized I love blush. So I kind of went on a blush frenzy, I guess you could say, this past year. But for the drugstore, I want to mention the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blushes. And I have them in three colors, but this is the color that I use the most, so I thought I would show it to you guys. And it's in Orchid Hush. And it's just this really pretty light purpley color. And I just love it so much. I love these blushes. I just think they last long. They give a nice dewy, beautiful finish. And I just really love the way they apply on and the way they stay on also. And they're just such beautiful colors. I want to collect them all. I just haven't yet. Um, yeah, this has definitely been a favorite. And I highly recommend this for you guys if you haven't tried them yet. Next for blush, I have to talk about my BH Cosmetics 10 color palette, blush palette. And it's just this one here. This is like my first and only uh, blush palette that I have. I don't have any other blush palettes right now, but this is just beautiful. I love the color selection and it might not look like I use all the colors, but I do. I just do have certain favorites that I use more. This has come in a lot of great use for me this past year. I've used it in a lot of my makeup tutorials and just when I'm experimenting with makeup and stuff, I just really, really love having it. So I definitely had to mention it. This next product I love so, so much. I got this from a makeup swap that I did with my friend Layla. She lives in the UK. And ever since she gave it to me, it has been my favorite probably my favorite thing she got me out of everything she got me and also just a big time favorite of mine for the year and I know I'll keep using it so much I just love it and it's the sleek makeup contour kit so it has the bronzer and the highlighter and it's in the shade light and basically I do use the bronzer a lot I love it so much it's the perfect shade bronzer for me but I do use the highlighter more I do use that more. It just gives a beautiful, beautiful contouring and also a beautiful highlight. So I love this sleek makeup product. Um, they are from the UK, but they do ship internationally and their shipping isn't too bad. Next, I'm going to talk about an eyebrow product. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. It's definitely a popular product and I get it in soft brown and it just has a really awesome super you know small tip there small pencil it's just so great at like you know detail and really getting in there and making small little strokes on your eyebrows and this is definitely my favorite eyebrow product and it's definitely um, a favorite for the year too because I got it and it was like one of my first high-end products that I bought and I just really, really love it. So um, I, I have it on my eyebrows now. I don't do anything crazy with my brows. I just fill them in slightly, but this definitely does the trick. I love it so, so much. And I know you guys have heard so much about it, but it is just a really, really great eyebrow pencil and definitely worth the money, I think. I think it lasts really long, so it's definitely worth it. Okay, so now on to eyes, and I'm going to talk about two mascaras, which even picking two was kind of hard for me because out of mas mascaras is something that I just, oh my gosh, I just, I, I change it up every day usually, and I just love mascara so much. 
I usually have a good collection of them and go through them really quick as well. But I did pick two that I just used the most out of, you know, all of them. I think these two mascaras I used the most. Um, actually, I know this one I used the most. And that's the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara. I love the brush and I also think it gives my lashes volume and length at the same time, which is great. And that's what the brush looks like. It lasts long, it doesn't clump or flake or anything like that. It's one of my all time favorite mascaras. My second favorite mascara of the year is the L'Oreal Butterfly Mascara. And I actually don't have that exact mascara with me. I didn't repurchase it yet, but I love it so much. The reason why I didn't get it yet again is because I decided to get the um, Butterfly Intenza. It's basically, you know, like another version of it. And um, yeah, I just wanted to give this one a try since I love the first one so much. I thought I would like this one, but I can show you guys this one. It is, it is similar, so you can see the brush just in case you haven't seen this one. So this is the Intenza one, and the brush looks like this. And I used it today for the first time, actually, and that's what my lashes look like. So I do really like this mascara, um, but I think I like the first one better. I don't know. I heard a lot of people say they just like them the same, either one. Um, some like say they like this one better. I, I don't know yet because I only used it once, but I really do love that first butterfly mascara. I just love the brush on it. I, that one definitely gives a lot of length, but also volume at the same time, but it does focus on length for me a little bit more. I just noticed the length. Um, and I just really love love that mascara so much so I had to mention it. Next I'm going to talk about our eyeshadows and I actually um, this was kind of hard too but I really tried to pick the two that stood out the most or two that I just know are ultimate favorites that will be favorites for a long long time and the first one is my Makeup Geek eyeshadows and I just um, made like a Z palette. This was kind of my first time like creating my own palette. And I think I did a pretty good job, but I definitely think there's colors missing that I would like to have. So I'm sure I'm gonna make another one someday. But this is my Z palette of uh, Makeup Geek eyeshadows. And I do love these eyeshadows so much. They're just an ultimate favorite. And like I said, I would love to own more of them. Um, they're just so, I think they're very pigmented, not too much, but just enough and really, really blendable. They work great. And I just noticed that I just have an easy time working with them. They don't give me any difficulty and there's not a lot of fallout either. So that's wonderful. These just are beautiful and I can't wait to own more Makeup Geek eyeshadows. The next um, is an eyeshadow palette, and this won't probably be a shock, but that's okay, and that's the Lorac Pro 2 palette. And I don't have the first one, or I don't have the Mega Pro, so this is the only Lorac um, eyeshadow palette that I have, but I'm just in love. I mean, this is just, I look at this palette and I just see perfection and beauty, and I love it. I just love it so much. And I'll just show you guys again, which I know I just showed you in a haul. Yeah, it's just beautiful, cool tones, um, different shades, just a little more different than anything that I have. They're super smooth. I love the colors in this palette, and I just love the way they blend. I haven't worked with too much of the darker colors yet, um, but that's just because I... I just lean more on this side, but I know I will get into those colors soon. And I just love this palette. It's it's all everything. It's everything good in an eyeshadow palette, and I love it so much. Okay, I'm finally on to lip products, and this was really hard too. I know I'm saying that about every category, but this was really really difficult. But I hope I did a good job picking. Um, I definitely think these are ones I just grab the most on like an everyday basis and sometimes in my like for filming or my makeup looks too. The first one is a lipstick and this is the Milani lipstick in nude cream. 
and it's just that perfect nude lipstick, pinkish nude shade. Yeah, I just really love it. It's very like smooth and creamy, yet it lasts long, and it's just like one of those great go-to nude lipsticks. I'm telling you guys, if you haven't tried this yet, definitely grab it. Um, it's Milani number 26 in nude cream, and I'll show you guys the swatch again. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful shade. These next two favorite lip products are the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. And I know um, these two I've talked about a lot before, and they're just great for just everyday use. And I have, um, I have a couple other colors, but these two, I just I couldn't pick a favorite from these two, so I thought I would talk about them both. Um, the first color is in Honey. Just like a rose like a rosy kind of shade and I love it's just a beautiful beautiful shade it goes I think it would look good on so many different people and it's just one of those uh, one of those colors I look at and I just I melt I just love those kind of pink shades and this next one is in Darling and this I was obsessed with for like a couple months I would not stop wearing it it's just a really like pretty purple color and I don't know, I just was obsessed with this color. And as you could see, it's just like a like a lilac kind of shade, I guess you could say. I know I just love it so much. That color too. I just I love it. And these are just, you know, they're like bomb stains, so they do last longer and keep like the color, like even when it gets removed a little, it's still there you know, like stained on your lips a little, but these are like very smooth and moisturizing too. That's what I love. So they're great for all year round and in the winter time too. Another favorite I just want to mention real quick are my makeup brushes. That's another thing I really got into this past year in 2014 is makeup brushes. I really realized how helpful and useful they are. I don't have like a huge amount. I'll show you guys real, real quick. I have like three of these and this one is my Real Techniques brushes and also my um, Eco Tools. I guess that's how you say it, Eco Tools. And this one are some more drugstore makeup brushes, mostly e.l.f. and then some other miscellaneous ones, but um, these are mostly e.l.f. makeup brushes. And then in this one are more high-end makeup brushes. I have my Sigma in here and also my IT Cosmetics makeup brushes. So these, um, and I think I have one MAC makeup brush. So these are like more like the higher end ones. So that's really all my makeup brushes. So I just have like three, three things, but they have been so useful and handy to me. All right, guys, that's all of my beauty favorites for the year of 2014. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. That really helps me out. I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.